point the robber downstairs began to smash the wall. Then he drilled a hole in the ventilation pipe. Then he connected the LPG conduit to the vent. Then he sealed the gap with tape. He opened the LPG valve. Instantly the gas in the gas pipe gushed out. Then an unnoticed feather came into the chamber. Lisa looked at the CCTV footage and immediately sensed something was wrong. She told Jenny to stay down first, herself to the vent to check. The gas was so strong that Lisa kept coughing. The room was soon covered with gas. If we can't think of a way out. They can only be poisoned to death here. Fortunately the daughter found a ventilation pipe in the corner. The two lay down in front of the pipe and breathed heavily. But this was not a permanent solution. Lisa could only reluctantly seal the vent with tape. To minimize the entry of gas. However just as one side was sealed. The other side of the hole was swept open by the strong airflow. If she couldn't find a way to save herself. The mother and daughter would be buried here. Lisa had no choice but to find another way out. She found a lighter in the toolbox. Then she threw the fire prevention equipment to Jenny. Let her protect herself. Lisa then put on the fireproof cloth and went to the vent. Take the lighter and stick it as far as possible into the ventilation pipe. The sound of the lighter hitting the pipe also attracted the attention of the bandits. At this point the smug man leaned close to the wall to hear what was going on inside. However the man on the other side seemed to realize the sign of danger. The man began to move backwards slowly and fearfully. At the same time Lisa finally lit the lighter. The blue flame instantly lit up the whole roof. Fucking bitch, I'm coming in there! Calm the fuck down.